Hi, I'm Paul Awaji, Precision Ag Consultant with CMB Operations. I work out of the Tracy, Slayton, and Worthington, Minnesota stores. Today, we're in Jackson, Minnesota, and I'd like to show you how shared coverage works. In our display, you can see we've done some shared coverage. Uh, so we kind of did a, a virtual shared coverage type of map. But I want to show you what it takes to get shared coverage operational. Okay? So the first thing you want to do is we would go to setup. And everything in setup has to be identical between the two machines. So our client farm and field need to be named the same. Our equipment has to be the same. And basically what we're doing has to be the same. And then spelled correctly in, in the fields, we run into that on occasion where it's not spelled correctly, but it has to be, everything has to be spelled the same in both machines. The other requirement is that both machines require a, 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 an MTG. The MTG has to be registered in the same operation in, in the operation center. So well, however many machines you have operating, all have to be in the same organization in my John Deere's operation center. Another requirement for shared coverage between machines, we have to have the activation in the display. So with our Gen 4 displays, we get the menu, we go to the system, we go to software manager, activations, and infield data sharing. And you can see it's active in this particular machine. With, with our shared coverage, um, you, you can see in the background, we've got a tractor on the, other, on the right hand side of us. You can see that's, that's him over there. And that's, that's this tractor we're in right now with the planter behind us. As you see, he doesn't have any implement behind him for our demonstration purposes, but since the ground is froze, I'll do manual documentation. So I turn documentation on. You can see this, this is the tractor that we're in. We have a planter behind us that's doing documentation. And the other lighter color blue is the tractor that's over there to the right of us. And that tractor is also doing virtual planting. And as we go across the field, we do have the opportunity to see each other's coverage. The, the advantage of, of having shared coverage is that if you have multiple machines in the field, you can tell where the other machine has been, whether it be for tillage or for harvest or, or a particular manure application, you can see what portion of the field has been done and you can come back and fill in any spots that may not have been. It really works nice in the evenings, like at nighttime when it's dark, you can see if the, full, if the field is completed or not when you have multiple machines in the field. The benefits of infield data sharing is you can see where the other machine has been. Whether it be harvest or planting, tillage, spraying, when you have multiple machines in the field, you have the opportunity to see what has been completed in the field and what has not. It also gives the ability for a faster production out of the machines in the field to where they need to be, uh, and we don't forget any portions of the field.